Hey everyone, it's Tyler the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review the Antennas Direct Clearstream 1 Max Indoor Antenna. It runs about $60 to $80 depending on where you buy it from. At the time this video is made, you can find it for $60 on the Antennas Direct website using the link in the description of my video. The Santana claims VHF and UHF capability within 40 miles of the broadcast towers. How well does this work as an indoor antenna? You'll find out in this video. If you're seeing me for the first time, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well, as this helps YouTube recommend my videos for first time cord cutters. Now before I get into this antenna review, there's one thing I really need to get off my chest that most people don't understand. There's no such thing as an HD or digital antenna. You should never look up an antenna just based on the keywords HD or digital. Those are just keywords antenna companies use to confuse people into thinking they're buying a special antenna designed for HD frequencies. Antennas are pieces of metal cut to pick up radio frequencies. It doesn't matter if the frequencies are broadcasting a signal in analog, digital, HD, 4K, whatever marketing BS word they want to use. The antenna will still pick up the TV station. That's why older antennas, even from back in the 90s, 80s, and 70s, still work for the new digital standard. It's not about whether the antenna is HD or not, but rather the size, gain, and whether the antenna is designed for both VHF and UHF frequencies. Taking a look at this antenna, it seems pretty good in terms of design with both VHF and UHF elements. VHF TV stations broadcast on channels 2 through 13 and UHF TV stations broadcast on channels 14 through 36. The different frequencies require different kinds of antenna elements to pick up the TV stations reliably. Most cheap flat antennas like this model do not have a long enough element to pick up VHF TV stations, which are present in nearly every television market across the United States and Canada. Let me go grab the one max to demonstrate this. You can see on this antenna, the longer element here is designed for VHF TV stations that broadcast on channels two through 13. And the smaller circle element is designed to pick up UHF TV stations that broadcast on channels 14 through 36. It's also very important to note that most TV stations do not broadcast on the channel number you may see on your TV set or be familiar with. For example, in Philadelphia, there's an NBC 10 that actually broadcasts on UHF channel 28. On the flip side, in Scranton, Wilkesbury, there's an NBC 28 that broadcasts on VHF channel 11. The same is true for most stations across the country. You can't just look at the channel number you see on your TV set and say, okay, well, channel three, that's v low VHF. You have to look up the RF channel to determine which frequencies are in your area and what kind of antenna you need. Most of you will need an antenna with VHF capability. To find out what channels your local TV stations are broadcasting on, go to antennaweb.org, type in your address, and look at the RF channel number. I'm now going to test out this antenna in the same location I've tested out various other indoor antenna models on my YouTube channel. The test was done on the third floor of my house with TV stations on both the VHF and UHF band about 45 miles away. If you decide to purchase this antenna, please use one of the affiliate links in the description of my video to help support the YouTube channel. Here's a list of the stations along with their RF channels and their signal strengths on the last two antennas I tested out on my YouTube channel. On the left side, you'll see the type of diffraction on the TV station. One edge means single edge diffraction or one ridge between me and the transmitter weakening the signal. Two edge means two edge diffraction or two ridges weakening the signal between me and the transmitter. LOS means line of sight with virtually no obstructions in the way. You can also see the results of various other outdoor antenna models by checking out my other videos. 
The signal strength on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 50, was about the same on this antenna compared to Clearstream Eclipse and higher than the GE model. The signal strength on WYOU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 13, was significantly higher on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I've tested out, likely due to the dedicated VHF dipole on the antenna. The same holds true for WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11. The signal on this antenna was significantly higher compared to the last two antennas I tested out, likely from the VHF dipole on the antenna. The signal strength on FOX56, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was about the same on this antenna compared to the last two antennas I've tested out. This is a very strong signal, and if the antenna isn't picking up this station, there's something really wrong. To my surprise, this antenna was able to pick up WNJB's repeater station in my area. Most antennas cannot pick up this station inside. Overall, this antenna performed well for an indoor model. The VHF capability allowed it to pick up the two VHF stations in my area much better compared to other antennas that had problems. While this antenna worked well for my situation, your results may vary. In general, I recommend using an indoor antenna only within 40 miles of the broadcast towers, and even then, there's a chance you may have problems if you're not using the antenna on the second or third floor of your home, or if you have a lot of trees in your area. Keep in mind that this antenna will also work outside. It comes with a mounting bracket, but no pole, but then again, those are only like 20 bucks. If you go to the FCC DTV reception maps website attached in the description of this video, type in your address and see mostly green channels. This means that your signals are strong and this antenna will likely work for you. However, if you see mostly yellow or orange channels listed on the FCC DTV reception maps, this means that your signals are pretty weak and you will likely need a larger outdoor antenna model. Feel free to use my YouTube channel as a resource. I have dozens of indoor and outdoor antenna reviews. If you're still confused about which antenna would work best for you, I do offer custom antenna recommendations on my website at antennamanpa.com. For a small fee, I will go through your unique reception situation, take a look at the frequencies and signal strength at your location, and make a specific antenna recommendation on what will work best for you based on my experience testing out nearly 50 antenna models and installing them in four TV markets. I also offer assistance in locating an antenna installer to do the job. If you want the best antenna for your area done right the first time, rather than wasting time and money on antennas that aren't right for your area, consider an antenna recommendation from me. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. A huge thanks to these folks who help support me on Patreon and are members of my YouTube channel. If you would like to help support these valuable cord cutting videos while gaining exclusive perks, such as behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, and direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates on when I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attach a link in the description of my video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.